A new debate has ensued on the internet after a woman posted a TikTok video detailing an experience she had at a Los Angeles restaurant called Asteria La Buca. Now, when she got her bill, she saw that there was an extra charge. It wasn't the tip automatically added, which tends to happen more and more lately. But it was employee health, a 5% charge. She was curious about that. So let's hear what her experience was and then we'll kind of break down what's going on here. We get the check, we pay for our check and as we are like signing the tip and stuff, we notice something. Here's the receipt and if you notice down here towards the bottom, there is a $4.75 charge for employee health. Do you see that? A 5% charge. For employee health, immediate thought was, what is employee health? What does that mean? We run through a couple of options and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna ask. So as we're like walking out, I go up to the hostess and I'm like, hey, quick question, just curious. I saw that you guys charged us $5 each, not total for the table, each, both of us for employee health. And I just had to ask like, what is that? And she goes, oh, that's our health care. And my reaction was, your health, your health care? And she goes, yes, our health care. And I've never heard of that before, ever. So one quick note about the video that she put out. She made a mistake earlier, but she corrected it later. At first, Nicole thought that the restaurant had charged each one of them, her and her friend, $5 each. But in reality, it was a 5% charge of the total amount of the bill. Okay, so just want to make that note. Anyway, people had mixed feelings about this, but I want to kind of talk about what's really happening here. Okay, before we get to their reactions, let's talk about the history of these additional fees. So these types of surcharges started popping up in 2008 when an ordinance passed in San Francisco that required businesses with more than 20 employees to set aside money for health care. The Federal Affordable Care Act, which came two years later, only requires this of employers with 50 or more employees, which often leaves out smaller businesses like restaurants. Now, when it comes to wages and health care, California tends to be a little better than other states. And so it doesn't surprise me that San Francisco passed that ordinance. But there are businesses who are incredibly salty about it and they try to make a point about it by intentionally putting that charge on the receipt. So consumers, customers, patrons feel angry, not at the employer passing down that cost to their customers, but feel angry at the, the servers who are serving them and clearly need health care just like anyone else. And angry at the government as well. Right. For passing laws that protect workers. Right. Uh, so there's no question the restaurant owners are doing it as a F you to the government and to the workers. Uh, and so here, I'll give you an example that'll clarify it 100% for you guys. Now, look, when anybody gets paid, they could use it on anything they want, right? Um, but imagine if they said in there, uh, oh, this charge is for our uh, waiters and waitresses Netflix account because they want to be able to watch Netflix. Well, everybody would be outraged about why am I paying for their Netflix account? I, I barely can pay for my own Netflix account. What the hell's going on? Right? They have increased prices. Now you, now you, <laughs> yes. Um, now, can you use the ten bucks you made in one hour or the fifteen bucks you made in one hour on your Netflix account for the month? Yeah, of course you can. But if you phrase it that way, it's intended to make the customer angry. Exactly, and that's that's what you see reflected in the comments to Nicole's TikTok video, which again, we'll get to in just a second. But one other factoid for you that I think is important here. According to a 2022 survey by the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, only 30% of private industry workers in accommodations and food services have access to employer sponsored healthcare. So the vast majority of employers in that industry do not provide health care for their workers. They just don't. And when they're in states that require them to, they get real salty about it and they try to make a political point. And look, the reason why I love this story and it's so important to talk about it is because Americans tend to take the bait where they start fighting each other. Yes. Instead of fighting the people 
who don't want to, first of all, completely upend and reform the healthcare system to something like a single payer system. So we're not reliant on employers providing healthcare, right? That, that is what the focus of this conversation should be, but it's not. So let's talk a little bit about this wellness fee and how people reacted to it. So one of the commenters of Nichols, uh, Nicole's video um, was pretty angry. Like, wait, what? How is it now a customer's responsibility to pay for their health care? Another person says, if I'm paying for their health care, I'm not leaving a tip. That would be like tipping my child for a service. If I'm paying your health care, we family. Okay, but wait a minute, guys, you are already paying for their health care because they then, for most of them, they didn't have health care, so they had to go sign up for Obamacare or some other way of getting health care, right? Or just pay for private insurance. And you pay for it out of their salary, which is made up of their salary and tips. But they just never gave you a line item. They didn't say, okay, this was for health care, this is for Netflix, this is for their car, this is for flowers for their mom. Why am I paying for flowers for their mom? This is an outrage in their family that I'm not tipping. You see how they're trying to get you to fight each other? Yeah, uh, one other person says, I'm sorry, but I'm not paying for this, just tax and tip. Healthcare should be covered by the employer. These fees are getting out of hand. Now look, in this messed up system, I agree, the fees should be paid. The health care should be paid for and provided by the employer. And by the way, this restaurant, I'm familiar with it. It is one of those fancy restaurants, constantly packed with people. They're doing fine. I would venture to say they can afford health care, basic health care for their servers and their employees. But no, they want to not only pass that cost on to their patrons, but make a political point about it so their patrons are upset with their servers. Um, now, some small businesses uh, around, some people, by the way, appreciated uh, what they consider to be transparency in the receipt. Some small businesses around Atlanta do this. It allows their workers to get health care for themselves and their family and sick leave. Um, but they weren't doing it to be transparent, in my opinion. They were doing it to make a point about how mm, government mandated health care coverage by employers. You guys are gonna be the ones who pay for that. Yeah, by the way, yes, there's some truth to that. That's why we should have universal health care. So that single payer, yep. if we have single payer, like literally every other developed nation in the world, it would cost half as much. And we wouldn't be getting into these fights of no, the employer should pay for it. No, the customer should pay for it. No, your mom should pay for it. No, there's single payer universal health care, also known as in this country as Medicare for all. That would actually give health care to all these folks and cost half as much. And then we wouldn't be ripping each other to shreds. But all of those industries that make incredible profits off of that don't want us to get single payer. They want us to fight each other instead of that. Thousand percent. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. So really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.